Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do the very popular boars and pasta recipe, the El Yucateco way. Welcome back to another El Yucateco recipe video, everyone. My name is Mike, and if you're not following us here yet, you're missing out. You're gonna come back to this channel and you're gonna be saying, my goodness, I missed out on all this good content. So go ahead and hit that follow button now so you don't miss out and you can get everything in real time. And don't fear, I'm gonna have all the details you need for this recipe down in the video description. To get started with this recipe, you're gonna need a baking dish. I'm using a nine by 13. And by the way, this is a really good time to go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna add grape tomatoes, some roughly chopped red onion, and some roughly chopped garlic to this baking dish. Now, of course, the name of this dish is borsin pasta, so we're gonna be placing the borsin cheese in the center of this dish. I went with the garlic and herb, but you can use any version of the cheese that you like. And we're also gonna add some blocks of cream cheese to this for extra creaminess, along with red pepper flakes, oregano, salt and pepper to taste. We are then gonna cover that generously with olive oil, and we're gonna hit this up with some El Yucateco Triple X Chili Habanero. This particular one of our sauces is the highest rated one on the Scoville scale, but you'll be amazed at how much flavor and kick is balanced in this sauce. You're gonna love it. Now just get that into the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes until everything is nice and melty and soft. While that's in the oven, go ahead and prepare your pasta. Just cook it according to the instructions on the package. Today I'm gonna to be using a combination of penne and cheese ravioli. Once everything is ready, go ahead and remove your baking dish from the oven. And we're going to add a few basil leaves here and give everything a really good mix to combine all these flavors together. Now, when you strain your pasta, reserve a little bit of pasta water so we can add that into this mixture to get the correct amount of thickness for your preference. Now, remember to add that just a little bit at a time because you can always add more, but you can't take it away. Then simply add your pasta. Now, once it's all combined, it's time to serve it up. Oh, this smells terrific. This is going to be good. Let me just serve a little of this up. Cheers, everyone. That right there is ridiculous. Obviously, the texture and the creaminess stands out, but that El Yucateco Triple X adds so much to this dish. There's a huge boost in flavor and a little kick on the back end. All right, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for your time and hanging out with me today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video, and I'll see you on the next video.